everybody welcome back to my channel no joke this is like my seventh time filming this intro because i can't get my point across but hey we're filming a monthly favorites so yeah we're filming a monthly favorites for the month of october i haven't filmed a monthly favorites in a while so i thought it was the perfect time to do it my ear looks weird um so yeah i can't believe october is over I, I feel like it just started yesterday. I feel like it was September yesterday. I'm not even joking. But today, the day that I'm filming is actually Halloween. So, yeah. Um, I am, I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready for the season of joy, the season of the holidays, November, December. I'm just so excited. I've already kind of changed up my background into a more um holiday themed bouquet i it will be getting more festive i'm just trying to give it to you guys in small doses so you don't hate me <laughs> okay so i'm gonna stop talking about random stuff and get right into my favorites i have quite a few things to show you guys so let's jump right in so my first favorite is this makeup forever foundation and to be totally honest with you guys i have never even before prior to this i had never tried any foundations for makeup forever i never it never really caught my eye um and then recently i went to an event at ipsy i think i told you guys that they gave me these for free and i tried it out and i love it so much whether that be like mixing it with a different foundation using it on its own it's a super nice medium buildable coverage but it feels so light on your skin and i feel like it is a nice go-to foundation it's not matte it's not dewy it's not anything in specific it's just a great foundation and it also looks amazing in pictures obviously this has like what 4k technology or something like that and i have two colors this one is the y215 i think the other one i have is 117 both of them work so i would recommend going into a store and trying these on because they do have a lot of different undertones to them so keeping with the whole foundation theme, I have this Tarte BB Tinted Treatment 12 Hour Primer. This has been sitting in my drawer for a while now. I never really gave it a chance until probably I want to say like a month and a half ago. And this is absolutely amazing. If you're someone like me, like I wake up every morning and I go to school and I do not want to put on foundation. I don't want to mess with brushes, concealer, anything like that. I just want to get something quickly on my face and head out the door. This is perfect for that it just gives you a very nice not obviously it's not like a seamless coverage or anything it's just a nice evening out your entire skin and also the fact that it's a primer is great because it has 12 hour wear and it also hides my pores so i absolutely love this product i'm in the color light by the way um now that my tan is pretty much faded i probably need to get a lighter color than this so yeah so next up i have this primer this is an eye primer from mac well it's a paint pot and essentially you could use it as a cream shadow but i use it as a base everyone else uses it as a base i love this product so much this is in the color soft ochre it is the perfect base for eyeshadow it does not crease it will not budge like you guys don't understand no other primer has worked for me except for this It is absolutely amazing and it also creates a nice blank canvas especially if you have like veiny eyelids like i do this is absolutely perfect Sorry I keep changing my hair around. I'm literally having a bad hair day and nothing is working out. So let's move on to the next favorite. This is MAC Fix Plus. Do I really even say anything? Everybody knows this product. It's holy grail to like everybody. And for good reason. It's absolutely amazing. It sets your makeup so perfectly. And I know a lot of people argue it's not a makeup setting spray. I know it's not. But... It just really dissolves the powder on your face and makes everything look super seamless and beautiful and I just love it and it smells so good this is the original one I know that they bought out like super good smelling ones but I missed out on those but this will do it's absolutely amazing another product I want to talk about is this cover effects illuminating setting powder in the color light this is so good if you're someone that likes to bake underneath your eyes and you're pale like me because it has the tiniest amount of color in it and it's super pale and white so it just really brightens up underneath the eyes and especially if you have sort of like a drier skin and you're scared of baking this has a slight illuminating finish so it doesn't make you look super dry and it doesn't make your skin look parched so this is really really nice this is the travel size i bought this for like 
$19 and I've been using it for a long time so yeah with these loose powders honestly you could use it forever and it'll last I have another product from Makeup Forever this is the star powder diamond collection in the color 967 and this you can use on your eyes on your cheeks as like a highlight I have been dying over this product I use it pretty much every day to highlight the inner corners of my eyes I used to hate highlighting the inner corners but now I'm like obsessed and I want like the most extreme inner corner highlight of course I'm not wearing it today go figure but this is absolutely amazing how many times I feel like I keep saying absolutely amazing because everything is okay <laughs> This is Max Oh Darling Highlight. Oh my god, you guys, this is the most amazing highlight I have ever used. It puts everything else to shame. I mean, Champagne Pop is still pretty high up there, but wow. Like, this is a part of their Christmas collection. It is limited edition. People are going crazy for it. If you find it, if you're like the most luckiest person in this world, and you find this product, buy it. Don't look twice. Don't think twice. Because it is literally, this is going to be exactly like Whisper of Guilt. Like, people are going to be selling this stuff for like $300. So, if you can, I would recommend picking it up. I don't know how I got lucky and I ordered it online and it came and I'm like, okay, sure. But it's absolutely amazing. It's what I have on today, but I have on a very light uh, application of it. I'll swatch it for you guys. It's, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's super similar to Anastasia's like, so Hollywood is that what it's called or Whisper of Guilt or Estee Lauder Heat Wave it has that nice golden white golden undertone so pretty oh my god so so pretty I wish MAC would make their extra dimension skin finishes um permanent because everybody loves them so much like MAC why you don't make it permanent so I have three products from Morphe that I want to talk about. The first two things are brushes, and this one is the M507, very thin pointed brush, and this one is the M506, more rounded off but still small. I love these brushes so much. There hasn't been a day since I got these that I haven't been using them for my makeup. So good. First of all, this like more rounded brush, the M506, is so perfect if you're into doing like nice crease crease like action like cut creases or blending out really small areas I've been looking for a brush like this my whole life and I'm so happy I have this I really need to go pick up backups of this and then also the M507 which is a more pointed brush is perfect if you like to smudge your lower lash line which you guys know I love to do it really just gets right in there and blends it out so nicely seriously I, these are my favorite morphe brushes ever they're so good so my last makeup product is from morphe brushes this is the 35 o palette of course i had to mention this i've been using it ever since i got it just trying to get it open this is what it looks like absolutely amazing it has such great colors super affordable 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 great quality i mean you really can't go wrong with this palette and i know that it's a lot of warm tones but if you really look at the palette and you use it there's a lot of neutrals in there as well so that's why I've been reaching for this palette pretty much every day like these dark browns are perfect there's just so many good colors in this palette I really recommend it if you I, I don't know if it's sold out right now actually but it is permanent so if it is sold out don't worry you could still get your hands on it but if you live in the LA area I think I always say this every time I talk about Morphe you can go to the store and get it they always have it in stock at the store so on to my more random favorites I wanted to show you guys a pair of shoes these are my Nike what are these called the Lunar Lawns oh my god these shoes have literally changed my life. So I just want to show you guys what they look like. I got the black and white with the platinum or whatever it's called. This is what it looks like. So yes, I have very big feet. I'm like a size 9, so super big feet. <laughs> so these shoes have totally changed my life. Like I said, honestly, I have never knew like how much a pair of shoes could change the quality of my life. Like... Okay, I have very, very flat feet. Like, I'm not joking. Like, they are flat on the floor. Like, when I walk, my foot actually, like, sticks to the floor and suctions it. That's how flat my feet are. So, I always have trouble with shoes. No shoes are comfortable on me. Like, it's so annoying. And honestly, like, 
it, it affects you because you're walking all day and it just bothers you. My feet always hurt. So recently I was at the outlets with my mom and my best friend and we decided to go into the Nike store and I just recently had bought my Roshis that I haven't even touched yet. So yeah, I wasn't really keen on buying another pair of shoes, but when I... I was in there, I'm like, you know what, this is my ch I just need to buy a pair of comfortable shoes. And I originally bought them to work out in because I have started working out. So I asked the guy, I'm like, hey, like I'm I want a pair of shoes. I need them for like running, more like aerobic stuff, uh weightlifting, and just like in general, just good shoes and I have flat feet. So he showed me these shoes and at first I was like, mm, they're kind of ugly, like they're not like the cutest things I've ever seen. Obviously, the Roshis are so cute, pretty, and just they look amazing with everything, but they're not running shoes. And you can't really work out with Roshis, so whatever. I got these shoes, I tried them on, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna buy them. And my mom bought them for me. Thank you, mom. So I bought them and I wore them to school the next day. Literally, I was like running up the stairs, I was freaking doing like jumping jacks I was so excited because my feet didn't hurt like it's just amazing to me how much how happy I am because of these freaking shoes and if you have the same problems as me and you your feet always hurt or you are a little heavier like see my weight obviously contributes to the pain in my feet because my body has more to carry but this has such a nice like shock absorption I think that's what it's called that honestly I don't even feel my weight on my feet so if you do have these problems i'll leave the link to these shoes down below they're absolutely amazing i really really recommend them of the month is actually an app and it's spotify i'm sure a lot of you guys know what spotify is i'm not sponsored by them or anything i just really wanted to share with you guys because honestly it is so good and it's changed my music listening game i have discovered so many artists so many songs because of this app and it's just basically a like what is it called like a music streaming service but it's not like pandora because you could look up songs you can make playlists so i think that it is a much better idea if you're gonna spend money on a music service to do something like spotify and yeah i just really really love it if you guys want to follow me on spotify my username is tina manassian i'll leave it down below and we can share music and you guys could look at my playlist i could look at yours and yeah so the last favorite I have kind of goes with Spotify, but it's kind of a movie slash a soundtrack, so really confusing. But basically, I watched this movie Begin Again about two months ago. It's with Mark Ruffalo and Keira Knightley. I absolutely love that movie so much. I've already seen it like five times. I really recommend it. But what really stood out to me from that movie was the music. I love the soundtrack to that movie and Spotify helped me discover the soundtrack so I've been listening to it like non-stop but my favorite song off the soundtrack is Lost Stars by Adam Levine oh my god like if you thought Adam Levine had lost it like this song is gonna make you believe in him again he is so good and I'm gonna play a little snippet for you guys hopefully I don't get in trouble with YouTube but it's gonna be like a four second snip so snip clip Unfortunately, I would get in trouble if I put this song in my video. So here I am singing to it. Look how passionate I am. It is a great song. Go listen to it. Okay, guys. So that is it for my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed my October favorites. And please like this video if you did. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.